But then again, how do we multiply and divide these rational expressions? I think it's best to go about it with a few examples. We need to remember, when in doubt, factor. Factor first. Okay, so then up here in this multiplication example, I know it's multiplication because it has the dot in the middle of them. Yeah, I'm gonna intent, I'm gonna factor first. Um, what can I do up here? Ooh, first rule of factoring. Never talk about factoring. Right, and if you need to catch up on some of those factoring techniques, don't forget to check out the factoring videos. Yeah, I pull out a five. Yes. Left over on the inside, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have an x squared minus one. Fun. Okay. And then down there in that denominator, first rule of factoring. Never talk about factoring. And then after that, take out a common factor. I see it be three. T he, t he. And then left over on the inside, I'm gonna have x plus four. Sure. Times, group it up x plus 4, uh-huh, divided by x minus 1, fun. Okay, hey, wait a minute, that can factor further. It's screaming, difference of squares, yes. So then I'm gonna have 5, right, lazy 5, lean back, lean back, times, uh-huh. That's the square of x, that's the square of 1, so this is x plus 1, x minus one, yeah, divided by three over, or times x plus four, sure. And then I'm gonna multiply that by x plus four, sure, divided by x minus one, yeah. Now if you remember, back when we're adding and subtracting fractions, if you want to remember how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions, go ahead, catch up on that video too. Uh-huh. It may be beneficial if we reduce our like factors ahead of time. Do you see anything that can fight? Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Is that everything you can reduce? <laughs> I believe so. So then, when it's all said and done and the dust settles, you're gonna have five times x plus one divided by three. T he, t he, and yeah! A box. And there it is, a flower. Yeah, so when we're dividing, when we're dividing these rational expressions, remember, factor, flip, and fight. Yes. Factor, flip, and fight. Yes. Here I see I have y squared minus 16 divided by y to the third minus 64 divided by um, y squared minus 3y minus 18 divided by uh, y squared plus 5y plus 6. Eee, there's a whole lot of shaking going on. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try to factor. Then I'm gonna try to flip. Then I'm gonna try to fight. When I say flip, of course I mean dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Handle it. Okay, up here in this numerator, I see that's the difference of squares. This is y plus four, y minus four. It's screaming. Check it out. Divided by, oh wait, that's the difference of cubes. So then, y minus, uh oh, four, sure. Same, opposite, um, four times y, yes, four y, always positive, plus 16. Uh-huh, so then that's how I factor that denominator. Oh wait, divided by, remember we gotta factor first. Factors of 18 that subtract to be 3. Are there any? Yeah, 3 and 6. So you gotta get that. You gotta get that. 3 and 6. Y and Y. The signs are different. And the big ones, negative, positive. And it's still all good. Uh-huh. Down there in the denominator, are there any factors of 6 that add to be 5? Yes. 
Oh, they certainly do. You gotta get that. You gotta get that three and two. Here's your Y. There's your Y. The signs are the same. And they're both positive, positive, positive. And it's still all good. Do you wanna reduce before you flip them? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh. Oh, uh, uh. Oh. But dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Oh, my first fraction or rational expression is, hey, hey, straighten up there for us. Yeah, y plus four divided by y squared plus four y plus 16. Then nice. Now dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Okay, and then what's the reciprocal? You gotta flip it before you multiply. Y plus two, oh, divided by um, Y minus six. How's it looking? Yeah, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Can that factor up the factors of 16 that add to be four? Hmm, let's see, no, that's 17. Uh, two and eight, no, that's 10. Four and four, no, that's eight. I'm like an optimist, that's prime. Can I reduce here? No, can I reduce here? No, so then I multiply them straight across. Y plus four times Y plus two, ooh, divided by y squared plus 4y plus 16. And then that's going to be times y minus 6. And then what? Yeah! A box. A flag.